Hello, my name is Loon Jun and today I will be showing you how to play Hofu Nuke. Now I have a tiny bit of experience, I can't say a lot because well, I don't really play PvP, but I can say that I'm a pretty decent Hofu Nuke player myself. So I will bring two games where both of them happened during my last day of PvP livestream and I will try my best to tell you guys what to do and what not to do. Here we go. I'm going to upgrade and I'm going to spawn all three or both of them at around like eight seconds or something right now the reason why i said that i got hell dice already or something close to that is because hell dice is in the bad spot for blessings if you get one hell dice on your first 15 spawns it's usually a good sign and since the first boss is also night if i didn't get hell on my first 15 dice spawn i can intentionally get hit to try to get another chance at getting a one pip hell However, since I already got hell, in fact two of them, I decided to one-shot the boss, releasing the damage that you charged. I hope that it um, makes sense. Professional streamer. <laughs> Are you talking about me or this guy? As I ramble, I am currently doing absolutely nothing. This is because to save SP and because I really don't need to do anything. I already have hell. Got enough typhoons to help me survive to wave 3, and I got a bunch of nukes in standby. If your typhoon class or crit is low, this kind of play is near impossible. I can stand like this if I have 6 typhoons until wave 3, but most players can't. I suggest trying your absolute best not to die and using nukes when a fat mob meets at around the second 90 degree corner. 6, I think. Or wave 25, I don't remember. Yeah, I think that game ended with my game freezing and I couldn't send any nukes and I died. If you guys were online on Discord there, I just kind of complained a little bit on Discord. Oh. <laughs> he killed himself. <laughs> For the second boss, it's kind of tricky. Since you don't have enough damage to one-shot the boss with only typhoons, but at the same time your nukes don't deal enough damage. This part is pretty crucial and it really matters on which boss you get. If you have over 1800 crit, I suggest not using nukes on bosses such as Magician, Silencer, Slime, Gravitor, and IX. However, if it's a boss like Leon or Basilisk, I 100% suggest trying to insta-kill the boss. If it's a knight, however, take a look at your board to see if you have hell dice. If not, taking a hit or two from knight can benefit you. Be like literally banned. Like they're going to like report me or something. <laughs> There's this thing called like wave three slime is pretty easy for me to kill with just typhoons and some nukes. However, if you have lower specs than mine, duke eleven, foon eleven, two k plus crit, it might be challenging for you to kill slime. My suggestion would be to just try to kill completely with nukes and typhoon or to just leave it completely. Sometimes letting slime get through and praying for no more slimes can give you an advantage in the long run. And when the slime boss hits around half HP, we'll kill it with nuke. Alright, that's the plan. Hopefully, our, hopefully my typhoons deal enough damage though. Ah... No. Can I kill the rest? Oh, okay. I have too much typhoons now. We don't need these. Starting from wave 4, typhoon soda becomes useless. I suggest removing most, if not all, typhoons that are not adjacent to a local hell dice. This will clear much necessary space for nukes. I don't really know when I'm going to stop this stream though, if I'm being honest. Really? <laughs> Let's send that. Hmm. So today I was actually going to upload a Kim Jong Un video. Yeah. Um. Now that I've gotten a two pip hell dice, I can now freely merge onto the adjoint tiles next to the two pip hell. 
This will give me more chances to put a higher pip typhoon next to it, so always merge towards your highest hell pip. We already have a decent hell setup. It takes around 19 seconds for a mini boss to get from the spawning gate all the way to the finishing gate. So using that as knowledge, once you see a mini boss that spawned at around 18 seconds, you can fully know that you don't need to send nuke for that one. The best thing for me to do is to check at around 8 seconds. Mini boss is in the middle of the lane, mostly during 8 seconds, so using that, you don't have to send nuke. Your game. Oh, I think I- oh, never mind, I didn't send that late. A lot of Hillfoon nuke players let Basilisk spawn a boss thinking they will just insta-kill like any other boss. However, please don't do this. Basilisk is one of those boss that is heavily dependent on RNG and you gotta insta-kill it like it's a knight. The reason behind this is because it can spawn a slime boss and the small slime actually needs 12 or 15 nuke pips to kill depending on your nuke class. Also, since my opponent is recharged which needs SP to gain DPS, I will continue to send nuke closer to the end gate rather than the front. Pass and club with someone I'm using recharge. When you have a 3 pip hell dice like my board here, you can remove all but one high pip typhoon. That typhoon will be able to do work so it doesn't matter how many more typhoons you have next to it. Pressure your opponent. There are matchups where you don't want to do that. You'll eventually learn this well. I will make a health and you guide soon if I if I ever going to if I am ever going to make it. How old am I? I uh We have a lot of different opinions, okay? On my age. Oh nice. I send that. Oh, let's copy this. A hey. 3 pip and a 1 pip. Alright. Do you know if- From death waves, mob speeds are faster than before. This means you will need to estimate the mini boss's movement. My honest opinion on it? I really want Le Leon. I really do. I'm going to just use a 3 pip here because uh, I might never see Nuke ever again. There you go, now we have more nuke. The reason why I merged a 3 pip instead of a 1 pip is because I had enough 4 and 5 pips laying around to kill the boss, but I didn't have a spare 1 pip. By using the 3 pip, I can ensure that I will continuously get 1 pips helping me to survive. Ah, uh, let's just send one more, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I merged the Typhoon using a Joker. I did this because first of all, I didn't have any 2 pip nukes to copy Joker. Second, I can expect another nuke, mimic, or even joker for a 3 pip, letting me keep a spare 3 pip for the next wave. Oh no, I gotta send a lot faster than that. Slime? Why? Uh, good thing I saved these 5 pip. Um, yeah, I. <coughs> uh, Jesus. Good thing I saved all my 5 pip jokers. And right around now. And right around now. Right around now. You know what? I'm just going to keep giving him more mobs. Oh no, I don't think I should. Well, he's still going pretty strong. Recharge is pretty strong. Alright, I can I can take a break. Come on, just give me like one Leon. Oh we just sent that, I don't know. Wow. Oh, he's out of SP. This is good because 
Now he can't get enough SP. No, no, stop giving me Gravitor. Oh, <laughs> why? Slime really is nightmare. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have SP though, but that really doesn't help me a lot. What is this? What is this background music? Why is it so fast? I did the same merge as last time with Typhoon. Again, it's to create more space and to give more security that I will get extra nukes. Hmm. Thing is, I think Gravitor might actually. Oh no! Huh? What? I honestly have no clue what happened here. Random dice fix your game. Or maybe it's actually a feature. Who knows? What happened to his lunar? <laughs> what happened to his lunar? Uh, what happened to his lunar? Oh my god, that's actually quite sad. Ah, this slime. How am I gonna deal with slime? That's the problem. Alright. Get in! Yeah! Okay, wave 17. Since I got health from my first 15 dice spawns and the boss's knight, I kill knight before he can use an ability. This way, I can 100% keep my hell dice. If you want to get hit by the boss, just make sure no typhoon is in phase 2, the all crit phase, when the knight is coming. Use a mimic or merge two phase 2 typhoons to remove it. Second wave basilisk is not an issue since even if the boss spawns a small boss, one nuke and typhoons can also insta kill those basilisk bosses. Third wave knight. Since I already have a health pip, I will try to make a nuke setup to kill knight right away. With only typhoons, it has no chance of killing boss before it uses an ability, so nuke is the only option. To be honest. Ah, oh, I don't want to get hit by boss. Two pip? No? No two pip? Yes, two pip. Yoink, yoink. Or even your room. I insta killed the. Uh, whoops. I insta killed the uh, boss just in case it doesn't spawn like a Leon or Slime. I need to survive for so long. Normally, you would send nuke just to make sure that your slime pass stays active. However, I gambled here. Alright. Who just subbed? I will just send the forfeit. Okay, my game's starting to lag. I'm going to restart the game after this, okay? I don't know if I can outlast my opponent if... My opponent gets a 7 pit. Probably yes, probably not. Not sure. We'll find out this game. <laughs> if he even gets a 7 pit. If Mr. Master 2. Scopal Lunar is an easy matchup against Health and Nuke, since you can intentionally not give enough SP to survive, whereas Scopo constantly send mobs, giving you a lot more SP. Although I don't think Blue Stacks is the best, it's still an emulator, <laughs> so I use it. I'm just gonna send this one so that I can just merge it easily, okay? Don't get triggered in chat. <laughs> chat, calm down. So far, our SP count has been pretty good so far. In all of our games, except the Hypersyn one. Were you there yesterday, Whimsy? I don't remember. 
Oh, it's sending me. My opponent gets a 7 pip lunar. This will go to Berserk Waves easily. Saying like... I joined the... My opponent got a 7 pip lunar? Oh no. I gotta work extra. And I don't like doing that. It's already wave 10? Why? Why is it wave 10 already? I didn't ask for this. Also, we're gonna let this line pass, just saying. Because we can. And that's what we can. Oh, I gotta, I gotta kill that. Sometimes you have to merge your Typhoons as well to kill Slime. But in this case, I just let it go because it's wave 10. The rotation of the crew battle. Like, that could be like an actual game mode where it's like a mashup and it's another Slime. God dang it. He has class 12 Lunar, how do you know? Can somebody like take this as a clip and like check it one by one? <laughs> like the frames. Oh no, I don't want to go against the class 12. He's only master, why does he have class 12? Is he like me? Who just doesn't play PvP? Why? Oh well, let's see who can last longer now. I should probably stop giving me him SP, honestly. Uh, ooh, okay, we're safe. We'll just send this and we'll bait. Alright, cool. The situation is very nice. I have enough SP, I have a bunch of 4 or 5 pips, and I can make sure slime is killed. 1, 2, and kaboom. Oh, Leon! That was me clapping. Yo! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna let Leon hit. Kaboom. My pips go down. Which is exactly what we want. The reason for Leon hit is because I have too much high pips. If I had a lower class nuke, I probably wouldn't have tried getting hit. But since it only takes a 4 pip nuke to kill bosses, it's more advantageous to get hit by Leon. Like it still has that, you know, vibe. You know, it's it constantly reminds you that it's... It's random dice, bro. But at the same time, it constantly is reminding that. I don't think I explained well what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to minimize the impact of Leon by clearing out some of my board. I am trying to leave out an even number of tiles empty so that Leon's ability will be round down. I'm going to send this. Oh no, shoot. Okay, you know what? Forget about it. <gasps> no, I didn't get hit. Oh, no, I forgot. I sent that way too early. I thought Leon would use ability a lot fast Let's just send these two then We'll memorize what to send. Oh, is my opponent gonna get hit? Oh, please, please, please. Oh, no uh Oh, tragedy happens I have zero Typhoons and zero health. This is incredibly bad. Most helpful new players will lose if they haven't saved up SP. This is how I managed to survive and how you should as well. Okay. Can you guys tell what I was trying to do? First off, I sent a 4 pip nuke to try to get a high pip typhoon, which I did get. Second, I merged another 4 pip nuke next to the typhoon in hopes of getting a 5 pip hell, which doesn't really happen. And then I get a 1 pip hell. This is where I turn my attention to try to get Joker next to a 5 pip typhoon. How you get a 1 pip hell next to the 5 pip typhoon in this kind of situation? It's quite easy. You don't merge next to the 5 pip typhoon. But instead, you merge the adjacent dice away from the 5-pip typhoon. 
This way you can spawn a 1 pip dice and it can have a chance of spawning a joker. Since there's a higher chance of me spawning a joker than to spawn a hell dice raw, I chose to go this way. Eventually I did get a 1 pip hell raw which rarely happens but it would have done the same effect as to getting a joker. Oh my god. Jesus. That was uh, that was intense. Did I lose that much SP? I don't know if I did. Boss Berserk, let's go. You're still going? My highest PvP was wave 10? <laughs> I mean... Yeah... I guess, I guess I'm still going. Wow, yes. You guys said that's class 12 lunar? Oh Jesus, I am not muting myself, hold on. Zap! Leon! Oh. I'm sorry I'm not talking too much, uh, I need to kind of focus real here, so... I hope you understand. Oop, it hacked something, but it didn't hack the... 7 pips. Let's go! Woo! Come on! Come on, for the subs! For the subs! Three people subs- Three people, including- I mean, four people, including June Moon. Subscribe, come on. The reason why I was so happy is because this is almost an automatic win. We both will get hit by Knight, but his board is more fragile than mine. No, I need a 4 pip. I need a 4 pip. I'm going to also get hit by this boss. That's the problem. Is he board locked? He's board locked. <laughs> oh, someone just subbed. Thank you. Oh, another person subbed. Oh, oh my god. Okay, there's there's a bunch of people subbed. Thank you, Cass Breda for the sub. Thank you, Emma Noel, Emmanuel Katsuki. Thanks for the sub. There goes one heart. Come on. We've done it, boys. We've done it. Uh-oh. Okay, he's gonna kill it. Oh, he flipped again. I don't know what happened, though. What happened to my board? Okay. Okay, we live again. Again, I saw the 1-pip hell dice, so I immediately changed my attention towards getting a 1-pip joker next to the 5-pip. Just die! 
I hope you enjoyed this long video. I will soon make more guides on other PvP decks and will provide more content in the future. Stay safe and have a wonderful day. Oh my god. Wave 18. Okay.